Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install a custom WordPress theme or a custom WordPress template. Right now I'm really liking B-Theme. B-Theme is a, um, a premium theme. It's $59 per license. Most of the websites I'm doing right now are coming from some B-Theme pre-built um, themes or templates. Um, they have over 240. They have pretty much anything that you would need to get up and running. I purchase my themes and my licenses from Envato Market. There are other ones out there. And this tutorial is not specifically exclusive to B theme, but as you can see, they have lots and lots of different options within B theme that you can choose from. But today, as I said, we're going to be looking at installing a custom theme on WordPress. So first of all, um, if you're logged into your GoDaddy panel, um, I do recommend that you log into your GoDaddy panel at least once per month just to keep up to date with any messages that GoDaddy might be sending you. You'll click here on um, web hosting, which will take you into your hosting panel. If you have more than one hosting pack package, they'll all show up here. In this case, there's only one. So you'll click on Manage. That will take you into your C panel. The C panel is where most of the functionality for your website lives. Now, I've already downloaded the B theme. I've already downloaded the theme that I want. So there's two ways of doing it. I'm going to show you a way that um, is works for me, and it's good if you have bigger themes, more complex theme, you'll just go into your file manager, which is right here. That's what I just clicked on, the file manager. Now, I've already installed the WordPress. So the WordPress that I'm going to be working with is Office. So this is my file manager. I know that the name of the WordPress is Office. I'll show you that in a little bit where that actually lives. You click on Office. Um, then you'll click on where it says WP Content. And within WP Content, you'll see Themes. This is where all of your themes live. Um, now, what I'm trying to do is upload a new theme. So I will click here where it says Upload. Um, you will browse. As I said, I've already purchased the theme. It's on my desktop. Um, it is the B theme. So I'll just click Browse that I can select the file that I'm looking for. Um, now on my desktop, I see right here, B theme, and it's the B theme zip. There's more than one, but in this case, we're going to be using the B, th B theme zip. And that is it. As you can see down here, it's, it's already started to um, transfer over. It can, depending on the size of the theme, it can take, you know, maybe 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes. Um, I usually suggest doing it as a file upload as opposed to the other option that I'm going to show you. Because with the bigger themes, there might be some timeout issues and you might have some challenges uploading. As you can see, it's already complete. I'll just click here to go back. Um, the B theme is there. I'm going to right click because I'm using a Mac. I'm going to right click and extract it. Okay, so just right click. You'll see this menu. You click on extract. It'll take maybe four seconds to extract. Um, it's done. And then what I usually do just to keep my files um, clean, I usually delete the zipped file. So I'll right click and delete. And for all intents and purposes, that theme is now installed. Now, if you purchase a good theme um, such as B theme, they come with something that's called one click install. So you can install the demo and demo content um, in just a, maybe five minutes in most cases. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to now show you what that looks like in the back end. So I'm going to my applications, my the, the list of applications that I have installed. Um, the one that we did was Office. So I'm going to log into the back end of the Office. This will be familiar to you if you've already gone into the back end of your hosting package. Do need to point out before you can install the new theme, the custom theme, you do need to have installed the WordPress to wherever you want that WordPress to be. I've already covered that up in, a, in another tutorial. Now to um, activate the theme, you go to Appearance right here, Themes, 
And when you do that, you'll see now that the B theme is here. You just click activate. It will be very quick. Now it's going to ask you to start installing plugins. Um, you know, what I would recommend now, it says here recommended, required. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how to do it, just install everything. If you're more familiar and you know that you're not going to be using a particular plugin that is not required, it's just recommended, then I wouldn't install it if you don't need it because that will affect the speed of your site. So right now it's installing the required plugins. I'm going to do this in real time. I'm not going to pause it and then come back because I do want you to see how long it actually takes. Um, while that's happening, we'll go back to the B theme and we'll just look at some of the options that you have in B theme. As I said, um, I really like B theme. It, it's compatible with Visual Composer, but they also have their own um, Visual Composer, which is called Muffin. Um, and it is it does take a little bit of learning, but if you don't want to use that, you can always use the um, Visual Composer. It also comes pre-bundled with Revolution Slider or Slider Revolution, as some people call it. Um, you can see all the different options that you have with B theme. I'm going to just check to see if that's done yet. It's not. Um, so with the one-click install, which is what I was talking about it will make your site look exactly like the theme. So let's say, for example, um, you're building a website and you just want a default website and you want it to look like this. This particular one is called default. When you do the one-click install, all of this holding information, all of these images will come in. Now, because a lot of these are not um, royalty-free, you will need to replace them but it gives you the opportunity to see what it should look like. Those um, plugins have now been installed. Now we just need to activate them. So you just go back, you click on that to select all of them, activate, and then apply. Um, so again, let's look at the, um, the default. And that is it. Um, the one that we'll probably go with, we'll just pick a simple one for the one-click install. Um, let's look at Lawyer 2. So there's more than one Lawyer theme, but we'll just go with the Lawyer lawyer 2. You'll see what that's going to look like. As I said, it comes with holding images. I don't recommend you keep those images. You'd need to change those out to personalize them to your business or to your client specifications. So that's Lawyer 2. Um, the plugins are now installed. In, in order to install the, um, the demo information, in the left-hand side, now you'll see where it says B Theme Demo Data. You just click on B Theme Demo Data. Um, we were looking at um, Lawyer 2. You'll just click on Import Select Demo. And then you'll just look for the one that you want to install, which was Lawyer Two, you click on that. Where it says attachments, click import attachments and then import demo data. Again, this is really quick. It's shockingly quick if you um, have a pretty, even a decent connection. Um, so you'll import the demo. So what you will find is now on your hosting package or on that WordPress theme, it will be customized to look exactly like this one. There will be a few links that will come in like the buy now which you'll have to remove because that's going to take you directly into B theme. But as you can see, all done. Have fun. Now if we look at the site, it will look like that site unless there's a rev slider which there is. So that's just the other part. It says revolution slider error um, with alias lawyer 2. This is a really simple fix and it's part of the installation you would just go down to where it says slider revolution, slider revolution. You click on that. Um, there's going to be three options, new slider, add slider from template, or import slider. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to import the slider. Again, I've already downloaded the theme. So the B theme is already on my desktop. Um, and it's right here. And slider revolution demo. Demos. And we're going to go to Lawyer 2. 
Uh, oh, here you go, Lawyer 2, and it's a zip file. Just double click on that. And import slider. Again, this is shockingly quick as well. So now it's imported the slider. If you go back to your site, you'll see that the slider is there and it looks just like it looks just like the demo. It's that quick. I um, there's lot. This will work with um, any custom theme that offers a one-click install. The way you do the one-click install might be a little bit different from theme to theme, but always look for a um, theme that is going to offer you the one-click install and comes with the holding images. Because what you will find with some of the custom themes that you purchase, they don't come with the holding image. So it makes it a lot harder to build out. But if you're a web designer or if you're new to web design, it's a great way to add that design element. Um, you will have to add your own words and your own images, but at least you now have a framework from which to work. So that's how you install a custom theme. I'm working from GoDaddy, and the particular theme that I worked with today was the B theme, which as I said, I really like B theme. It's $59 per license. Um, if you want to um, also then purchase Visual Composer or the Revolution Slider licenses, you can do that separately, but it does come bundled with B theme. So that's the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to subscribe and to share it with some other people. If you need any information, you can always give us a call.